This radio show is brought to you by Carousel, inspiring people with learning disabilities to achieve their artistic ambitions. My name is Fran Reynolds, aka DJ Cranberry. Hello, my name is Rami. We are at the Shut Up Penison radio show at Blue Camel Club. Woo! The Blue Camel Club, it's a place for people with disabilities to have a good boogie and a good dance. DJs, music, presentations, you name it. Can you tell me your name? Elizabeth Miller. What are you doing today at the Blue Camel Club? I work in a photo booth. Suzanne, so what is this? Well, this is a new thing Carousel about the photo booth. People grab a prop, microphone, guitar, wig or a hat. You go in with your mates or on your own. You get your photo done. 30 seconds later, you get a strip with the photos. It's brilliant. Inside the space is the red curtains. And then there's a photographer there who takes the pictures and then you come out and you pick your photos up. Have people enjoyed doing it? They love it because they get a picture, four pictures each, or eight if they're on the road, to take home, give to people, and they're great fun. Look how, look how everyone's having the time of their life. Thank you, Susan. Can you tell me about the photo? Well, I had a photo done, it's fantastic. It's all the... Um, loads of props. I'm working there now, so I'm getting everyone to join, join me to work there. What the cheese is? What Subway. the cheese is? What the cheese is? What the cheese is? What Subway. the cheese is? What the cheese is? What the cheese is? My name is Sarah and Oscar Bright, a chair trustee for Carousel. I've done outreach pop project with Carousel and I have worked with doing workshop with you for many times. My name's Paul and I'm a steward of Carousel tonight and I've probably got the coolest t-shirt you're ever going to see. I would like to ask you what are you doing today? He's a photographer, photography and I like photography because it helps me focus and people always say I always take good photographs. Okay, and I, because Sarah just asked some advice, and I said one bit of advice, if someone comes in a wheelchair today, rather than take a picture looking down, get on your knee and just get on their level, and then they won't get neck ache. So little tips like that, wasn't it, Sarah? Yeah. yeah. Telling me, what are you taking? E everything and anything, yeah. We're capturing the spirit, would you say, of the yeah. evening? Yeah. Where all this photos will be going? I'm going to go to Carousel, and instead of David taking the photos, as usual, I'm doing it. They're going to be at Carousel website. My name's DJ Manic of the Panic. It's my last ever Blue Camel Club gig. I've been here for seven years. Um, some fantastic years of hard work, commitment. And Saturday tonight is my last night. A little bit gutted for people who can't make it, but you know, it's fair enough. They've got other commitments. I started as a volunteer pay a stage chance. A couple months later, I started to get into more confident stuff like support the acts and suddenly I thought I'd give DJ a go and suddenly that's when it kicked off from there. When I first started DJing, I was about 12, I started doing house, commercial, a bit of R&B, a bit of old school. I used to be on vinyls when I was 12, my dad's friend got me on vinyls, I was 16, I got into 10, I used CDJs. When I was 18 I was doing more drum, bass, hardcore, gabba, techno, which I still do today, but not much of it. But now today it's more of the mixture of old school mashups. For me, it's been a real honour to do this for seven years, and I've got to meet great celebrities, got to DJ with great celebrities such as Jamie Lang from Maine, Chelsea, Lauren Pope from, from TOWIE, Kai Stafford, of course, I've had an honour to DJ with him, and to DJ with some amazing DJs in Brighton, especially then go on tour with my brother recently. We went, we did things like we went to Southampton together, we went to Manchester together, we went to Leeds, Plymouth. And for me to do this, sleep Blue Camel in Brighton would be a nice note. Oh, there's seven hats of me. It's many of you that have been a Blue Camel. I've been in Blue Camel for seven years. Each hat represents one year. I've been a carousel. And I've got over 60 hats. I've got different hats. I've got Donald Duck, again, Disney Old School, Clay and Son, one of my favourite clothing brands. I've got American Raiders. Um, the best one I have was the Clay and Sons 2 chains. That's when I was with DJing with Tiny Temp as well as Beer Max as well as Audio Thief. Audio Thief is an amazing video DJ, so Raptors, that's when I went to Canada when I was 15 with my best mate and we were DJing over there. Sadly, I'm leaving to go to university in September. I'm definitely DJing in Reading, definitely. I'm hopefully to get, to hopefully do a uni, hopefully maybe do some clubs. But I don't know, you know, life is still young. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take every day that it comes. 
If I get the opportunity to DJ, I'll take it, to be honest. People do say what it's like to be a DJ, it's an honour for me, it's not easy. To be a good DJ, you have to have good attitude, you have to be committed to it, you have to work hard every day. So for me, it's an honour to you know be working with great people like Sharp and Listen, Carousel, Blue Camel, and to leave on a bang and note like this, it's worth it. I'm 50 Tyson, do a bit, just I got a fade. Tyson, tell them, get back, get back off of me. When I'm looking at you, so my Dougie, when I go, when I freshen all the pullers. Come down, check me out, I'll be DJing, bit of OMB, house, commercial, drum, bass, bit of dubstep. Cheers, guys. Don't know how to Dougie, don't know how to Dougie. Don't know how to Dougie, don't know how to Dougie. Hello, what's your name? Daryl, keyboardist and vocalist of Zombie Crash. And what's your name? <laughs> I'm very good with my fans, I'm in trash. We're not playing tonight, but we're watching. Watch another band, then give them a chance. Let them spread the chaos, the mayhem, the carnage, the blood and guts. What do you like about the Blue Camel Club and what do you get up to? We have lots of fun, lots of chaos, meet up with special ladies. Woohoo! And now, this is our newest song, and it's called Rock Your Body. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Would you like to come and dance tonight? I don't think so. My name is Andrew Walker and I'm the lead singer of the Revs. How many band members are there? Um, there's uh, five uh, band members. There's me, the lead singer. There's um, Sam, the bass player. There's Louisa, the, uh, the flute player. Claire Matthews, the part carousel. She's um, the keyboard. Player, and we've got um, Jason Page on the score stars and Michael on the drums. She went on a day. Excited to meet someone new. But it was awful. So embarrassing. Rock your body, yeah. How long have you been playing for? Oh, we've been playing for now, at least about three years now. And um, we've uh, released an album on the 21st of July this year. What was the album called? The album that we've done is called um, Rev It Up. We hear you're playing tonight. So what songs will you be playing? Well, uh, the songs we'll be playing is Empty House, Rock Your Body, Don't Cut Us Out, Funky Pudding and Extras. So what is Don't Cut Us Out about? Um, the reason what Don't Cut Us Out is, is because um, people with learned disabilities have had their funds cutted and support needs. And we found out that I found that it was very wrong uh, when I was at um, Chips at County Hall. And I told Peter Cashpole, uh, basically, what I thought it was like to have learned disability. And basically, I thought it was wrong what he was doing. So I told him exactly what I thought. Um, yeah. What is the Sun Empty House about? Oh, the Sun Empty House is just um, basically it starts like empty and then uh, eventually people start moving in. People start moving in and eventually it comes to a happy house. It's basically been a house that has been empty for years and years until eventually it, everyone starts moving in and starts to become the happy house. And who's this lady? Oh, this, this here is Louisa. She is my flute player. So, Louisa, what do you do in the web? I'm a flute player and I've just been learning the drums for five weeks with one song so I'm really proud, I'm so talented so. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the drums tonight for one song and it's called Funky Pudding. Louisa, what do you like being, what do you like about the revs and why do you like being in the revs? I like being in the revs because I like making new friends and I like it because I play the flute and also I play the drums. Well that was Louisa and, and Andrew, thank you for coming. You know what, thank you very much. Anytime you need me, just give me a call. Wow, did you enjoy all that? Would you like to play it again? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. That was our last one, so we announced the rest. And see you back in town. Here are the specials. Please, can you guys introduce yourselves? Lewis. Sam. Lucy. Megan. What is this? What, what is the special? Because it's special. Oh, 
We are so special, aren't we? We're yeah, yeah, yeah. house mates. Mm. We're house, by house mates. By house mates, yeah. Brighton. Brighton. We, um, what do we do, Sam? We do um, bowling, pubs, cinemas. We do anything, don't we? Yeah, bowling. Uh, yeah, we do, we, we do anything. Cinema, Cinema. nightclubbing. Nightclubbing? Uh, yeah. Yes, we well, do, you're right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys have also been filmed especially on the Opera Winfrey. Can you tell us about it, please? Um, uh, we had a, a special launch last night. We did. And um, because we celebrate, because the specials is on... America. It's on a America. America right now. Yes, yep. it's on America television. That, oh, that's easy. That was 2006, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 2006. 2006. Uh, we did. We filmed. We got filmed, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We got filmed. Episode one to episode ten. We did. We're just doing all our lives, aren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All our lives and that. Yeah. When will the second series be out? Um, second series. Be out soon, won't so it? Right, so. Yeah, we'll yeah. Yeah, soon. Yeah. soon. What is it like seeing you guys many years ago on television? Um, Really good, isn't it, guys? Yeah, it was good, yeah. yeah. Really good. Well, I was actually, I was only 19 when I moved in. So, um, I got quite a lot of confidence in me, and so now I've grown up as a 24-year-old. I was started in December in 2007. I was 17 I came in the house, and now I am 28. I think I was 22. Yeah. I was 22, wasn't I? Yeah. I was 22. How has being on the television changed you guys? Uh, it's been good, hasn't it, yeah. guys? Yeah, it's been, been really good. good. Yeah. Really good. I think we're more confident now. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Lady Boys of Bangkok, Bangkok. wasn't it? Yeah, Lady yeah. Boys of Bangkok. Yeah. Well, me and Sam, me and Sam actually have been arguing. He thinks the Lady Boys, and it's not, it's Lady Boys, Boys Bangkok. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, because I, I thought the boys are uh, uh, girls, not the real girls, but it's not. It yeah. was men, wasn't it? It was men. It was men. Um, <laughs> any other funny bits we did? Sam was quite upset, because possessed of um, Megan, and because he had um, Lewis's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Right. Did he go o well, get o over here? Uh, I get over Megan, yeah. sort of thing. The relationships, like ups and downs with relationships, like episode two when uh, Louis breaks up with, with Megan. I do. How did he make feel his, his feelings? Well, they're all right now, aren't they? Yeah. They're all right yeah. now. So what awards have you guys won? We won two. Two Webby. Two Webby Awards. Awards. Two. Two Webbies. We were going to holiday to New York. Yes, we did. We went to pick them up over there, didn't we? New York is a good place, and um, uh, we met um, a celebrity. Yes, we did. And um, uh, we got two Webbies for the Lifetime Achievement yeah. Award. Yes, we did. And um, um, an opportunity for uh, is a uh, New York episode. Yes, we did. The new episode was good. Yeah. What do you guys like about the Blue Camel Club? It's good. Favourite thing about it is brilliant, isn't it? I like it. I like it. I like friends stick together. I like it because it's really great because I like um stay up late yeah, and, yeah. and dance and boogie and stuff. We do, we do. The Blue Camel Club is really fun, actually. And dancing is good, really fun. Thank you guys for taking your time and have a good evening. That was the specials live at the Brighton Dome. Hello! Hello! We are called the Hit Party Crashers! This is called Fashion! Thank you for being at the Blue Camel. Shut up and listen.